Hello everybody, welcome to Ngoterra Odyssey. It's so beautiful out in my yard right now that I just brought all my equipment out here. And I had this wonderful notion that some of you are going to evoke some powerful wisdom within yourselves and your gorgeous intuition over the next couple of weeks. So I want to um, sort of ask guides, what what is this wisdom that's coming to you and how is it going to work with your energy and how can you have it enliven you and smooth your path and ease your way and help you seek these connections you need in all things, you know, because a lot of people are consistently inquiring about certain things, you know, where am I going? Should I stay with this job? How can I work out this issue with a family member? Here comes one of my cute cats, hello. You know, we can't force something to come or to remain if it's two places elsewhere. So we're gonna figure that out, okay? Hello, Moochie Moochie. Hello, little dude. He's of course gonna wanna lay directly on all of this because that's what cats do. So we have three choices today. We have the dog, which is loyalty, sincerity, unconditional love. We have the deer, which is gentleness and diplomacy. That's one of my favorite cards in this. And then we have the swan, which is transformation, trusting, and psychic gifts. And I'm going to share something with you briefly. I just had this most unique experience. I was laying out in my yard. It's like 90 degrees. And I don't usually sunbathe and lay in direct sun. I mean, with red hair and freckles, that never turns out well. However, I felt like I needed some sun healing. And what I did was I just cracked my eye open ever so slightly. And what happens is the sun and the light play all these really neat, magnificent um, lighting games on you. When you just open your eye a crack and what I was seeing was so unique to me that it felt like it was a Reiki experience because I was seeing formations of crystals and then prisms because of course sun and your sunglasses will play all these unique games. But I could actually see a transference of sun energy into me, into my heart chakra. Right where it was coming down, I could see like a prism and then separating beams going down. And then I started doing something I never did. I started doing Reiki on myself with my hands. I'd, I did like a little triangle over my heart. Then I moved down to my stomach, over to my hips, up to my throat. And I actually feel like all my chakras are cleared now. And it was weird because I was divinely guided to just come out and lay in the sun, which I never do. I'm like, I don't need to fry and turn bright red. <laughs> but it was one of those things and it actually works and I paid close attention to all the feelings in my body and really got in touch with them and now I feel like crystal clear again like just really smooth and then I felt compelled to do this video because my energy is good and clear and I don't like to pick up a microphone or start taping if I ever feel rushed or hurried. It's all about calmness and conveying that energy over to you. So I'm really loving like the insights that are coming right now. So we're gonna see what's happening. If you chose dog, I feel like you're pulling loyal people into your circle. I feel like you already have loyal friends, but if you're um, divining love on your new course, I feel like you're pulling in really sincere trustworthy people that don't cheat, lie, or have issues because you're about unconditional love now and so should they be, okay? So also, like in the book, I loved the writings on the dogs. It says, when it, the dog appears on your path, it kind of reminds us that dogs are the most loyal animal to human beings. And do we act with sincerity? It's very important that we do right now for good fortune comes with faithful, um, with faithful activity, right? If we stick to something, like when I woke up, I wrote my one, two, three, this is what I'm doing. I stuck to that. I felt really fulfilled, balanced, and grounded because I was doing what I said I would do for myself and others. And that's what this energy is about. So it's about loving sincerely without conditions, right? And to be happy to be part of a pack. Think about how you function in your community. Are you a loyal team player? Do you do what you say you're going to do? Whether it's, you know, on the church circuit, school circuit, sports circuit. Are you in places you say you're going to be when you're going to be there? So another issue dog always asks us to consider is the loyalty of others. Is someone around you being insincere if not move on because he or she is not meant to be in your pack you don't need ins insincere individuals wasting your time right now okay ask dog for a sign and your answer will be shown dog energy lives in your heart all the time so live there i can read a loyal and um, honest person very well now now that i'm tuned into that energy i can tell by just looking in their eyes and asking specific questions and I feel like meaningful relationships are more important than ever to you right now. And you're not going to settle for any old, you know, silliness that comes along. So let's say I'm going to pull some tarot. 
Oh, the star. I'm so excited. I just fan these out and I just pull randomly as I'm compelled to do different things. Two of swords. I feel like there's a decision to be made right now and you're you're deciphering, you know, you're you're weighing your options in King of Cups. I feel for some of you, you might have a third party situation. You might have two people interested in you and you have to make a choice. Now, it was your wish. Uh, you, it was your sincerest wish for love, divine love to come in. But what's happening is sometimes we go back into old patterns and we go in this sort of give and take. I want this, but I don't want this. And what happens is when we really wish for stuff, guess what? We get it. And your divine powers of manifestation are like fire right now. So really be careful what you wish for. And look how the light is playing on this card. It's saying, you know, you have to make a decision. You don't have to behead the guy. You don't have to chop his wingy off. <laughs> you don't have to get too, too crazy on this, but there is a decision to be made. And ask yourself, who is more loyal when you have two or more people coming into the fray? Who is more loyal? Who do you think about the most in terms of all of the good attributes and virtues, you know, honesty, being where they say they're going to be, trustworthiness factors, good communicators, um, thoughtful, all of these things, like the dog, who, who is really there for you? I feel like your, par, your path is really marked with the need to regroup and remind yourself of your goals, okay? One focus step at a time. So you can make a pros and cons list, you know, of the love you're looking for. Um, last time, if it was somebody that was very comedic and funny, did they suck the oxygen out of the room? Were they a little too much? Did they constantly need attention? Okay, then pros. Um, did they lift your spirits, make you feel good? You need to make that list because I feel like you're creating the ideal partnership right now. And with that always, you know, comes a little bit of risk changing. Um, and I feel like it's excitement though. So you do have definitely a choice to make in this group. And I feel like with this wish, you're going to make the right one because intuitively you're listening to yourself and you're saying, you know what, I could fall back in old subconscious patterns of just moving in the comfortable realm of what I know, or I can expand, go out there and really take hold of a new sort of way of looking at things, a higher perspective, new experiences and learn. Because again, ask yourself, when I had this older energy of this person in there was it serving my highest purpose did I feel good did I feel rich enlightened and all of those things or did I feel like it was a task we don't want to be in relationships where we feel like it's a task right we want this king of cups energy this beautiful love offering which is coming for you and I'm hearing three is all over so within a three-month process this king of all kings is coming for you so really focus and right when I said that a gorgeous bird flew by me and I was like I just hear yes you know like yes is on the wind for you so you get to make the choice so start to officiate over what you want and that means taking charge of your thoughts and really bringing into focus what it is that you're divining for yourself because you want it to be the best because you are the best and you are of high value and you deserve that so prepare for that beautiful energy oh I love that also I want to pull I'm going to pull you one more um, card for your main overall energy so your high priestess yeah this is important right now discernment presence and um prophecy and vision what are you envisioning what do you because you are pulling this and you really are absolutely manifesting this 100 percent. so streamline really really get discerning um take out and remove any extra that you don't need have it be very simplistic right light-hearted joyful trustworthy somebody i can immerse my um, emotions in and through and we have we'll have beautiful discussions someone where you don't even have to say anything you can just sit on a front porch and just the presence of them makes you feel good right yeah beautiful energy group one if you're new to the channel don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you need a private read if you want to come see me on instagram which is sparkwist11 it is all up to you go down there and see what's going on Look at that. I love that, that this love is coming in for you. Beautiful. Yeah, you have really loyal friendships and people in your arena, which is a dynamic and fluid and rich time for you, which I love. So beautiful energy group one. Now we're on to number two, which is the dear gentleman, gentleness and diplomacy. So I'm feeling right away one of your messages is we can slow down and take it easy. We don't have to um, be on this, um, you know, constantly fast chartered course we can slow our roll and take it easy right i feel like it's a reminder for us to step gently onto our new path because we're walking to a time when gentle movements and diplomacy are required you know strength is this quality so make it your own and know what steps you successfully are assured i do this if i walk in a room and i see all different emotional temperatures if i see tension if i see jealousy if i see um uh, anxiety. I, I use the dear energy for this. And then I come and I try to integrate people on uh, a 
emotional wavelength that they can um, work with, which is usually humor. That usually works. So it's important to be gentle with yourself as well because you're probably heading into a period where you're unsure of your footing or just coming out of a difficult situation. So blend your personal energy with the dear energy of gentleness. You know, you don't make mistakes with gentleness and it's not weakness. It is a form of quiet beauty and discernment where you're trying to work within the um, parameters that you have available to you. And you're going to be very um, good at this. I mean, you're going to really have it together because, oh my gosh, I knew it. The strength card, beautiful page of wands. So you have some passion that is being evoked within you. And look, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like you have a new um, man coming into your life. Somebody who wants to um, invest in your business or a personal investment in you too because page of wands is a slower moving energy this is funny this is actually you and you're in the epitome of strength right now where you're really having a lot of self-actualization realizing who you are and doing what really benefits your life right now giving you a sense of wholeness and simplicity that you want to move into for the summer right sometimes my best days are when i grab a lawn chair a bottle of water a book and I go to the beach. Oh, here's the female kitty now. That's it. Simple, easy. I'm not rifling through a bunch of garbage because I've simplified. And that's sort of where your strength is right now. And that's the dear gentle and simplified. And so this, what this reads to me is there is somebody who is trying to bring a message of of passion to you. It's not fast moving. So you're not even sure what the indicators are. So you're kind of questioning, is this even really happening? Am I imagining this? Am I romanticizing it? You are not. You actually have a night energy, which is a noble human being that comes from a place of um, abundance, as well as integrity, loyalty, and love trying to share a love message with you. They just are contemplative on how they do it. You know, they're not a quick loud mouth type or anything like that. They're very subtle, beautiful, quite poetic. I feel deep, probably an artistic type of person. And you know, they're not just all about shouting stuff from the rooftops because they're guided to do this from their heart. So they're figuring it out, you know. Also, they see you as someone who's independent and you have healthy boundaries. So they're approaching it like that. And um, I feel like it's gonna lend you power to live freely. And remember that it, the adventure is just beginning, okay? Just beginning. So don't forget that the cat has nine lives. <laughs> so you're always going to land on your feet in this live freely, love without unhealthy, live without unhealthy attachments. Okay. Remember that um, you're always going to have companions and friends. Be, you're immersed in your life right now and it's attractive to people and they want to come be around you. So they're trying to send you this cute message of passion. And I really love that for you. I'm going to pull you one more um, wisdom card because I love these. Where'd I put them? The cat is distracting me. It's Indy's female cat and she never just comes out. Uh, she's normally pretty uh she's normally pretty crazy oh yeah look at this you actually have the cow which is nourishment abundance asking and receiving you're in a great manifestation stage where what you ask for is literally coming to your doorstep so be discerning in what you're asking for okay i feel like again i feel like you're eating while you're taking care of yourself your life is in balance or you're currently bringing that about you're getting organized and what's important and methodical and it's helping you out in so many areas so beautiful energy group one i really love that energy for you so so let's see I'm feeling one more thing too is coming for you I feel like this time is marked for you for celebration and you're gonna have a joyous completion of some projects some attainments of goals or it's the end of an arduous journey where you put in a lot of effort now you're getting rewards so you're gonna get ready to receive the blessings so I'm very excited for you group too beautiful so love and light too if you're new to the channel don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you need a private read my Instagram and go patreon everything is down there so now we're going to go on to group three in a moment. Look at the cat. She's so nosy. So nosy. She's really beautiful. She looks like a lynx. So now we're on to number three, which is transformation, trusting your psychic gifts. This group, I definitely feel like you're being elevated in a lot of ways spiritually and you're understanding that you can trust your intuitive insights right now and, and really work with it. Um, you know, this can be life changing. Absolutely. You may change so much that you don't even recognize yourself in the end. Most important, it's time to honor and love this change within yourself because that's the most beautiful reflection and it's going to shine back at you and you're going to understand to just dive in and love who you become okay remind you you need to trust your intuition and these psychic gifts so you can go through this 
process of this wonderful change. Like sometimes I'm serious, I feel like I'm hallucinating when I see or experience Reiki healing through myself just because I place my hand there. I'm like, I'm imagining this. It was, and then I'm like, no, that whole muscle has relaxed and ceased to cause a problem because of, you know, your own touch. So don't be doubtful of it. I'm, you know, this is um, spirit working on your behalf to help you. You stop that crazy. So let's see what else is going on. The cats will just love these cards. I'm gonna get some doo doo doo. I'm gonna start shaking these up and see what's going on. I don't know why they're so attracted to exactly right where I'm working, but I swear I'm gonna get them. So I'm just gonna put I'm gonna put those right there to try to distract her because they wanna be where my hands are. Wow, look what you've got. You've got Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Queen of Wands. So you have a lot of passion coming. This is success in any sector you put your um, you put your mind and your focus on. So remember, where we put our energy and our focus, we totally get our results, right? And I feel like that's what's happening for you. But you also get a new chance. This is a new chance at love, too. I feel like, you know, just by being yourself, that all the sorrow and pain that you have experienced over the winter time is going to just disappear be intent on your practice of getting what you want i feel like you're going to reach amazing heights because of this combination is insane you are pulling back your air you're saying this is what i want to do this is what i want to achieve and this is what i'm going for and you're having this new fresh insightful burst of energy and joie de vivre it's going to be very helpful for you she's just chewing on my fingers like a weirdo you know i feel like this is for a lot of you it's your favorite time of year you love the summer it's very um healing for you and you get you know a lot of good fairy summer energy for you and i feel like right now too um you should pay sort of special attention to your diet i'm hearing you know are you getting enough sleep and eating enough fruit and and stay hydrated okay i think your projects and relationships and business ideas are going to thrive exponentially especially with the queen of wands but again this is about a height of passion and a new love coming into that you know you just connect right away you connect on such a beautiful profound level that you you don't have to second guess any of it and part of this energy is the ego energy your spirit integrity and your connection to the angelic realm is guiding you to new beautiful heights of understanding who you are and where you want to go and you know it's you're feeling sublime you're feeling the energy you're feeling the pride of your leadership capabilities which come with the queen of wands your passion you understand absolute truths which create courage self-respect and you take on more responsibility you know with aplomb and it's very easy for you and you're experiencing real joy in this you know you're a light-hearted approach to stuff catches me and you know what your ego has dropped away which means you are listening to your spirit song and so romance is coming in and you're somebody is seeking this seeking the sacred love from your heart that you have been you know just put on the shelf for a while and I feel like you are ready they are ready and it's really gorgeous oh my gosh you also got the Merlin card so alchemy justice and balance it's you you know receiving what is justfully yours that what you know you're deserving of and it is this profound gorgeous love and it's been i want to see if i have the book close by because i loved the passage about this it was really beautiful um you know it's just about that gorgeous intuitive hit and knowing you're ready for whatever you are and that yeah it says you're given notice that when it comes into your life and its purpose the magical aspect of merlin can be summoned to help you find the answers that are within you he tells you that justice will be done in all matters that you're asking for but not by any forceful action okay instead ask yourself what you need to do to bring balance into your life and are you working too hard overthinking do you have enough downtime because it is downtime for you i definitely feel for sure and it's time to go within and just charter that course and it's just going to come to you uh, so many signs and omens are also going to be set to you so you can reflect back on them and you're just going to have those aha moments when you're in quiet and peace and reflecting you're going to go this is what i need to do that always happens to me too when i quiet myself and slow down i get all the answers and that's what's going to happen for you as well so beautiful energy group three if you're new to the channel don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below